This is part two of my altcoin tier list video. We have got seven altcoins in today's video that I'm going to tell you whether they rank 1000x down to a 10x. And with a potential dip on the cards in the short term for the crypto market, this could be a very good opportunity. Welcome to the home of non-financial advice. My name is Jordan. This is that martini guy. If you wouldn't mind, slap a like on today's video, subscribe to the channel. Let's keep it growing. We're growing at an astronomical pace right now. And let's crack on. So starting out today's video, this is the chart that we're left with from the previous video with launch block being the only thousand x ranking coin out of the whole group here humans.ai is ranking in the 100x category drift is ranking in the 50x category that is a pre-sale you'll find a link for it in today's video description ego which is ego pacinger a very interesting platform again i'd recommend that you watch episode one of this series to understand what each of all of these coins are then we've got paid network and track track is a bitcoin ordinals platform very interesting again then lower down here in the 20x category we've got brn metaverse virtual versions chain link and finally down in the 10x category we've got elrond and it's not called elrond anymore i've got to stop saying elrond it's called multiverse x the worst rebrand ever in crypto i'll never understand why they did that to themselves and i would highly recommend they rebrand again as elrond but first up we need to pick a coin out of the bunch of the ones at the bottom to give a rating of 1000x to 100x to 50x to 20x to 10x and the next coin here is going to be vanry or van Archain. the price of van Archain very juicy right now it's had a 7.97 percent drop off in the past 24 hours and as i've said the market is looking particularly attractive right now for a lot of different altcoins because bitcoin in the past couple of hours has taken a tumble down from his new all-time high at $69,420 down to where we are now at $65,462 now i'm very bullish on vanry I think that this could run very hard in the next bull market. If we look here at the all-time chart, we can see that the all-time high here for Vanry is approximately $1.13. That would put it around a 10x from where we are right now. But actually, Vanry's project has undergone a lot of improvements throughout the bear market that I personally believe have improved its value significantly. And instead of just being an ERC20 token, they are launching their own chain. Now, I've got an interview coming very soon to this channel with the founder of Vanry. I flew out to Dubai to meet him to do an interview with him and it was a very revealing conversation I'd recommend you watch that video when it comes out and please make sure you've slapped like on this video so I show up in your algorithm so what is Vanry it's a groundbreaking blockchain platform Vanar offers a carbon neutral high speed low cost layer one chain designed for entertainment and mainstream again just like always with cryptocurrencies, a bunch of jargon. But when I met with him in Dubai, I actually learned quite a lot about this project. I learned that it's the Web3 for basically the entertainment industry. When we're talking entertainment industry, we're talking movies, games, music, everything like that could be potentially using Vanry within a few years to store their data on the blockchain. But why would they choose Vanry? Well, there's a lot of good reasons that you would use something like Vanry in the entertainment industry. First of all, they issue grants if you start building on top of Vanry. They've got a huge developer house that can help you build your own project. There's a lot of examples on the website here as to how the Vanar chain can be used for a bunch of different applications, and it's invested in by a bunch of different successful people. Now, also, to add to that, they're one of the only chains that's brought a lot of mainstream attention into crypto. And on their website, you can find here a list of the different partners that they've got. Google Cloud, ImmuneFi, DQuest, Virtua, and a bunch of other different things that we don't need to spend too much time on in today's video. But the real question is, what is it going to do over the next 12 to 18 months, however long this bull market is going to last? And where is the best price of which to buy this? I mean, I'd like to be buying this somewhere around 10 cents, although I already bought a bunch of it around 5 cents before the price had pumped up. I think that it's primed for a very significant growth in this bull market, and I think it'll far surpass its previous all-time high from back when it had basically zero utility and it had only just launched and the bull market kicked off. Now, if it can go to $1.13 with zero utility, how high can it go if people actually start using it so from that perspective i actually think vanry belongs in that 100x category 
I think it can go 100x. I think it can get to $10 per coin. That would give it a market cap here of a lot higher than where it is right now, about a $15 billion market cap. But given how high valuations get during the course of bull markets, I think that's quite achievable given the size and scale and scope of this project. But next on the list here, we're going to give Orange a rating from 1000x to 100x to 50x to 20x to 10x. Where does Orange belong on this list? Orange is a low market cap BRC20 token. And that makes it very interesting for me because the BRC20 space is something that is yet to be fully realized its potential of in the world of cryptocurrency. People don't fully understand how you can buy it. They don't fully understand how you can get involved in BRCs. But I can tell you right now, I've been making a lot of money on investing in BRC20 tokens quite simply because it's early. The Bitcoin audience is very rich and the trading pair for all Bitcoin ordinals tends to be Bitcoin. That means projects like Orange attract a lot of investment from Bitcoin's community and Bitcoin's community is the richest one on earth. If I remember correctly, Bitcoin's community is worth about $750 billion. So there's a lot of money within that community. And the market cap of this right now is only 18 million. It's a very small market cap. And I think it's primed for some significant growth during the course of the next bull run. Now, if we look here at the all-time price chart for Orange, we can see it started down here at 10 cents. I was talking about it quite a lot over on Twitter. And then the price of it rallied all the way up to about 80 cents. Since that period of time, it's come down now to about 31 cents. So it's down a good 60%. And that's largely due to the fact that early stage investors have had all of their tokens unlocked at this point in time and there is no more selling pressure to come from those early stage investors. That period of time is now over. Now the people that have invested in this are those that believe in the actual project and not those that were trying to basically make a bit of money out of a quick pump. From my perspective, I was also an early stage investor as well in Orange. I was a seed investor, but I've also bought more off the open market when it was around 10, 10 cents after it had launched. That would make me around 3x on my overall investment right now, which is okay, but it's not amazing. And I think this is going to undergo some significant growth when the ordinal space really starts taking off. If you look at Orange's Twitter, again, primed for a lot of growth here, only 18,800 followers, but it's all organic, which means that it's not botted because a lot of crypto Twitter profiles are very botted. You can see it's got a very engaged community from a tweet the other day. It's got 30,000 views, 206 likes. But the question is, where do you buy stuff like this? Well, for that, you need to download something called Xverse Wallet and on Xverse Wallet you can deposit some Bitcoin. Xverse is where you can store your tokens but you can actually buy orange tokens on MXC and also on BitGet. The majority of the trading that I've been doing of Orange is also on BitGet and on MXC. And I'm very excited about the Ordinal space because also Orange could potentially get listed on Binance very soon because it's been included by Binance on a lot of tweets from Binance's main account. They're not yet listed on there, but you can imagine if Orange gets listed on Binance, this thing will gain a bunch of liquidity overnight and the price will skyrocket. What is Orange? Orange is when Bitcoin meets DeFi and Web3 Basically, it's its own Bitcoin Ordinals wallet. But I know from spending a lot of time on phone calls with the Orange team, which is why I've made a significant investment into Orange, that these people aren't just stopping with a basic wallet that you can deposit Bitcoin into and trade Bitcoin Ordinals on. The token utility is going to push far past that. Now, currently, with a lot of BRC20 tokens, they have no utility. So being that Orange is one of the first ones to actually have some utility, it makes me very bullish on it. So when trying to score Orange from on this scale here between 1000 dex and 10x, I'm going to put Orange in the 1000 x category along with that of Launch Block. I actually really am very bullish on this. In terms of my own holdings of Orange at this stage, I hold somewhere in the realm of about sixty to seventy thousand dollars of Orange, depending on the time of day. And if that did a thousand x from where it is right now. I'm going to be a very happy boy. But there's a reason why I'm holding it and not selling it. And it's because I think that, look, we're at the start of a bull run. What happens after Bitcoin halving? Bitcoin halving, all of the attention switches over to Bitcoin ordinals. Why does all the attention switch to Bitcoin ordinals after Bitcoin halving? Because the block rate gets divided in half. That means that the amount of block... Because the block reward gets divided in half. That means that the amount of Bitcoin that is mined is divided by two. And the only way to increase that amount of Bitcoin that a Bitcoin miner can mine is by pushing Bitcoin ordinals. Because when you push Bitcoin ordinals, people make more Bitcoin transactions. That pushes up the fees on the Bitcoin network, meaning that miners earn more. Because of the maths of how this works, it's a system that will only get more popular and the amount of investment into the Bitcoin ordinals ecosystem will likely only increase because it's literally only just started. From my perspective, it's like investing in Ethereum right back in the day. And this is a very long-term project with very long-term goals. 
and I expect a lot from it. So next, we're going to look at this coin here. This is Cornucopias. Now, Cornucopias, is it a 1,000x or is it a 10x? Where does it sit on this chart? And I think it's an interesting one because Cornucopias started out as a, as a metaverse. But then it changed a little bit and it's got backing from the Cardano Foundation, which is really good because it means it's always going to be liquid and a very strong project. But it's not really a metaverse anymore. I describe Cornucopias as more of a very well designed game built in Unreal Engine 5, I think it is, whatever the most up to date Unreal Engine is. The actual graphic quality of Cornucopias is very strong. So the question is, where does it sit within this chart? Well, let's get into it, shall we? Looking at Cornucopias Twitter here, we can see they've got 50,100 followers. So again, a lot of potential for growth there, but it's got a very, very active community. It always gets a lot of likes on all of its posts. It always gets a lot of views on all of its posts. And the people that are interested in Cornucopias are genuinely interested to actually use it. They've done a lot of raising for the amount of NFTs and such that they've sold. So they've got, they're very well capitalized. And if I was to guess at anything that would be successful in the metaverse space, for me, this is my pick. Now I hold about $250,000 of Cornucopias. I invested in it a very, very long time ago now, literally when it was just starting out. And if we look what that means on the price chart here, if I was investing back here when it was like two, three cents, and I was buying during the bear market at one cents, I'm about 700% in a profit on this investment right now. But that's not a lot of money compared to where I think this can go because it's only a $62 million market cap. It's actually very small compared to where I actually think this thing can go. Given that it's got competitors like Sandbox here with a $1.5 billion market cap and it's got a $62 million market cap, there is a very significant difference in those market caps and I actually think that Cornucopias, when it's fully completed, will be a much better experience. Now, to give you an example of this metaverse gaming thing in action, you can see it exists. You can actually already play the beta and people are playing the beta. They're taking this around trade shows all over the world and showing it to people what they've been building. It's not just a racing game. There's an entire universe that they've been creating. And for me, I think that Cornucopias sits somewhere between that 50x and 100x category, but I'm putting it in the 100x because I believe that it can do it, especially with that strong backing from the Cardano Foundation. I think that if Cardano is going to pop, then the Cardano community will support their native metaverse, and that is this. And it is, from my perspective, the best built thing out there right now. Continuing onwards, anyway, Polkadot, that's the next one. Is Polkadot going to do 1000x? No, it's not going to do that. But is it going to do 100x down to a 10x? Which one is it going to land in? Well, let's have a look at Polkadot. Polkadot, $9.77. Dropped down a fair bit so far today because the market appears to have peaked to some extent. At least Bitcoin has been dropping all afternoon. Great news, I'm short. And that means I can buy the dip. And I've been saying that for a while now. I expected Bitcoin to drop and dropping we are. But I don't think we're quite done dropping yet. And there's going to be some amazing juicy opportunities. But the question is... What is Polkadot going to do? Because its all-time price high is somewhere around here, kind of around the level of $50. I actually remember buying the Polkadot up at $60. So it's been higher than that. It's just not registering on this chart. Polkadot's market cap is $12 billion. It's got a circulating supply here worth of. It's got a fully diluted supply of $13 billion. So most of the supply for Polkadot is actually already in circulation. Again, very good news. There aren't any VC whales going to dump Polkadot on you, and they've got 1.4 million followers. Polkadot is a very established, very recognized, and much improved project over what it was in the previous bull market. In the previous bull market, Polkadot was a closed ecosystem. You couldn't launch project on Polkadot without completing a parachain auction that is no longer the case and there are soon going to be meme coins on polka dot now something that people don't understand about these meme coins on polka dot is they're going to work in the form of airdrops those airdrops only go to people that are actually holding their polka dot in a polka dot wallet now for that that means you need to withdraw from the exchange that reduces liquidity and if people start getting airdrops from meme coins that are actually worth good amounts of money because the polka dot foundation is backing them then that changes the system completely that removes moves all the liquidity from exchanges, it drives up the demand for actual Polkadot coins and it causes Polkadot's price to go absolutely crazy. I am very bullish right now on the price of Polkadot. I think Polkadot is going to go and do huge things. It is ultimately just another layer one platform, but the amount of adoption and development on top of it, as well as the foundation grants to various different companies to build on top of it, they're so significant that from my perspective, $9.75 is very cheap already for Polkadot and the all-time low for it is actually only around $4. So it's 
it's only up around double from the bottom, whereas Bitcoin is up about 400% from its bottom. So the two are very different. Polkadot has underperformed the market significantly. I think that Polkadot could potentially perform between the 20x and 50x categories, probably closer to 20x than 50x, but certainly outperform that of Elrond in the next bull market. And that's why I'm considering swapping over all of my Elrond into Polkadot. And I hold a significant amount of Elrond, as I showed you in the previous video. Now, next up, a blast from the past, Eternity. I don't know if you remember Eternity from the previous bull market, but it did exist. Is Eternity a 1000x, 100x, 50x, 20x, or a 10x? And it's an interesting question. What is Eternity? It's connecting fans with the world's biggest brands through digital collectibles. They have a digital collectible marketplace and the entire project is basically dependent on whether the digital collectible space really picks up some steam. And I think it can do. I'm actually quite optimistic about the future of Eternity. You can see in the past, and I remember this, Eternity's price used to be, what was it, $66 currently down at $33. If it was to go back to its all-time high, that's a 20x from where it is right now. From the bottom of the bear market, it would have been a 40 to 50x to back to its all-time high. The price of this is still really down in the gutter. And yes, it's had a bit of a run-up recently from $2.40 up to $3.40, peaking at around $4, showing that there is still demand for this token. But right now, it's having a nice little bit of a retrace and it could be a good buying opportunity. Where does Eternity sit within this chart right here? For me, I think Eternity is going to sit in the 50x category. I actually quite rate Eternity. I don't actually hold any of it. I don't care whether people buy it or not. It makes no difference to me. As goes for all these things, you should buy what you want to buy. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody. Never take financial advice. And this is not financial advice. You should always do your own research. And this is the home of non-financial advice. So slap a like and subscribe. Press that button. Go on. You know you want to. Penultimately, in today's video, we've got Vexed, which is a token from Veloce, the world's largest esports media network for racing. Now, Veloce gets 700 million views per month combined between all of their YouTube channels. That can potentially give them some humongous exposure. And when I show you the market cap of this coin in just a second, it's going to pique your interest a little bit because the market cap is actually really low right now for Vexed. And let's have a look at Vexed's statistics. If we look here at the current price of Vexed in terms of its market cap, it's $9.1 million with a fully diluted valuation of $52 million. It's quite small compared to a lot of the other projects in today's video. And if we look at the price for it, ever since launch, a lot of these early seed investors have been exiting their positions and the price of it is sat three times lower than where it started. Now, this for me makes an attractive opportunity. I never like to buy things that are at the highs. I like to buy things when they're at the lows. And I think that VEX is a prime example of this because if you look at where it's listed, today it listed on BitGet. Previously, it's been listed on Bybit. It's listed on Gate as well. So it's listed on some good exchanges there. We've got 91,000 followers, a very active community, of course, because they are Veloce. It's a huge organization. They've built a whole web app and the website is also very, very professional. The web app is actually quite an interesting one. I think some more tweaks are still required with regards to the formatting because on different computers, it does look different. And basically, their web app allows you to bet on the outcome of races. There is more utility to this token. It's just interesting that they've got this web app and it works and you can use it. Some of my own thoughts as to why this token has not performed as well as what it could do. A, the formatting is wrong on this web app. That means that people have less confidence in it. They don't understand the size of Veloce. They're not investing in the size of the company. They're investing in the actual token. And the fact that you have to sign in before you can see anything. So I can't show it on today's video because I don't have a wallet on this computer. But to give you an idea about the size of Veloce as a company, they have their own race team. They run the social medias for McLaren, for Quadrant, for a bunch of other very large organizations. And they can get exposure when they want exposure. So the question is, when are they going to go after that all that exposure? So from my perspective, given it's a low market cap, given it's kind of semi-low liquidity in terms of there's not a lot on the market for sale. As soon as any demand kicks in for it, I think it'll do quite well. I think the Vexed belongs in that 100x category, especially when they fix some of those issues with the web app. And finally, I did leave it to last for a reason, and that's because everybody always asks me, what's going on with TAP? So let's have a discussion, shall we? TAP, the price of it, 0 0.0018. 
In fact, it's still higher than when we initially bought into it, but not significantly higher. And a lot of the reason that the price is higher right now is, of course, because Bitcoin's price has increased four times since we initially bought TAP when the price of Bitcoin was $16,000. Since that period of time, a lot has happened. The price of TAP increased 90 times, like 90 times in price is what it increased. If you look here on the chart, this was a 90x. It stayed there for a few weeks, and then the community started footing itself and dumping on itself. There's been various issues with the application over the past year that have been teething problems because it underwent such a huge growth in such a short period of time. But as you can see from our initial buy-in and entry point, we're still around 10 times in a profit. But the question is, what is going on with TAP and when is it going to go good again? And the simple answer to that is I don't know when things are going to go good again, but I can tell you. I'm confident that they will go good again. I have not sold any of my holdings of TAP. I still hold all of my TAP. And when you think, actually, for every seller, there is somebody that bought that, who do you think is buying it? I am very confident in the future of TAP. I'm going to make a few videos about it in the not-too-distant future because I think it deserves some attention at this point in time. It's been underperforming the market significantly. The market cap of it is back down at $2.3 billion. The opportunity from here is tremendous. And I'd rather not speak any more about it. And uh, we're going to get onto it in the future. But I'm going to bang it in the 100x category. And we're going to get onto it. Just be patient. Good things will come. I'm very optimistic. Also important that if you look here, that is one coin out of a bunch of different coins of which I hold most of these coins. And the reason I hold most of these coins is I think that they're all going to do pretty well. When you have a portfolio, don't go all in on one thing. Just a word of advice. I'm very optimistic for the future of all of these altcoins. I think the future is very bright for the altcoin space. And I think when the bull run kicks in, you're going to be a very happy person. Remember, this is a long-term gain. It's not for short-term gains. People get carried away in the short term. It's a long-term game. By taking that long-term approach, you can change your life. You can change your wealth and you can gain freedom, most importantly, because that's all the point of making money is. It's just to get more free. You can go on holiday if you want to. You can take six months off work if you want to. That's the point of having money. So when you take a longer term approach, you increase your odds of success so significantly that I would expect you to become very successful over the next 12 months. The old coin bull market is only just getting started. In fact, it's barely even started at this point. And I'm interested to know your thoughts on my rankings in today's video descriptions. What do you want me to add to this list in the next video? Let me know down below. I'll leave links and information to all of these altcoins in today's video description. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.